The largest teachers union in the United States is talking love and revolution. Well, right now I call it a trend. Hopefully it will continue to become a revolution. Um, we've seen really two decades of cuts to public education uh, and um, not for the betterment of our students. It began in West Virginia, Arizona, and Colorado. Teacher protests across the United States seeking better pay, conditions, and funding for children's education. Teachers! Run! Teachers! Run! Many U.S. public school teachers say they now cope with more than ever, buying supplies out of their own pockets, feeding undernourished children, and defending kids from a growing spate of school shootings at places like Parkland, Florida. It's hard for me to fathom the tragic deaths of students of our colleagues to gun violence in school after school after school. The National Education Association says teachers have lost personal income to inflation and public income for their schools to the private charter schools favored by the Trump administration in many states. Teachers in America are fired up. They feel like they've made progress in recent months and they want to make more progress in negotiations and at the ballot box. The strategy for the teachers union is twofold. There's the short term, what we've seen in some states where they've done, had work um, activism, whether it's strikes or walkouts or slowdowns. Uh, that's a short term fix. Then there's a long term strategy. The strategy is vote. Politicians need to realize that when we decide to vote, we can basically put in any candidate that we want. So if you're on our side and have our support, we can elect you. If you're not, we will, we're coming after you in November. Two main targets, President Donald Trump and his appointee, Education Secretary Betsy DeVos, who have overseen major proposed cuts to the U.S. education budget. We had to make choices around programs yeah. that were duplicative or spread thinly or shown not to be effective. The teacher's first test will come in November, when they vow to come out in force to grade members of Congress in midterm elections. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Minneapolis, Minnesota.